The upcoming release of the iPhone 15 Ultra has been met with much excitement, with many anticipating significant upgrades over its predecessor. However, upon closer inspection, the iPhone 15 Ultra is simply a disguised version of the iPhone 14, with minor tweaks and improvements. In this video, we will explore why the iPhone 15 Ultra may not be worth upgrading and why the iPhone 14 may still be a viable option. Let's get started. Of course, one area where the iPhone 15 Ultra is expected to excel is in its processor. The A17 Bionic chip is expected to offer unrivaled performance and improved battery life, making it an excellent choice for power users. But what? That's good. Leaker, Ice Universe confirmed this in a tweet outlining his expectation for Apple's flagship phone. He tweeted, I look forward to the A17 chip with 3nm, which must be a great improvement performance and has excellent power consumption and battery life. However, the reality is that the A16 chip in the iPhone 14 Pro Max is still one of the fastest mobile chips on the market and can easily handle powerful tasks with ease. The A16 is arguably the fastest mobile chip on the planet and is only rivaled by Samsung's Snapdragon Gen 2, which powers the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Geekbench test results on the Galaxy S23 Ultra and iPhone 14 Pro reveal exciting insights into their respective performances. Regarding single-core performance, the iPhone 14 Pro outshines the Samsung counterpart with a score of 1874, while the Galaxy S23 Ultra falls behind with a score of 1480, indicating a 21.02% difference in favor of the iPhone. Similarly, the iPhone 14 Pro also performs better in multi-core performance, scoring 5384 compared to the Galaxy S23 Ultra's 4584, resulting in a significant 14.86% difference between the two flagship devices. These results suggest that the iPhone 14 Pro packs a more powerful punch when handling demanding tasks and multitasking, making it the clear winner in raw processing power. So while the iPhone 15 Ultra will undoubtedly be better in terms of performance, it may not be a significant enough upgrade to justify the cost of upgrading from the iPhone 14. Another feature that has been touted as an upgrade for the iPhone 15 Ultra is the Dynamic Island. This feature, first introduced on the iPhone 14, replaces the controversial cutout design with a more dynamic and fun-looking appearance. The Dynamic Island is a pill-shaped area that houses the time, battery indicator, and other important information. It also serves as the notification center, where all incoming notifications are grouped and displayed compactly and conveniently. It changes its shape and size depending on the type and number of notifications received, making it a dynamic and visually appealing feature. Impressive. While there are indications that the base models of the iPhone 15 could also have this feature, the reality is that it will function the same way as it does on the iPhone 14 Pro models. The same can be said of the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Ultra screen size. We will get into that shortly. Don't go anywhere. Therefore, iPhone 14 users will not miss out on anything if they choose not to upgrade. If you are also a tech fan and do not want to miss anything in the tech world, make sure to subscribe to this channel for regular premium content. In addition to the features mentioned earlier, the upcoming iPhone 15 Ultra will be one of the devices that will receive the iOS 17 update. This update will bring about a host of changes, such as simplifying the wake word for Siri. For years, the virtual assistant could be summoned with the phrase, Hey Siri! but that will soon be a thing of the past. Additionally, Apple will allow the downloading and installation of third-party apps and provide compatibility with AR slash VR headsets. However, it should be noted that not only the iPhone 15 Ultra will receive the update, some older models will also be eligible for the update. This means the iPhone 14 models will receive the new update and its aforementioned features. Therefore, in terms of the operating system, we may experience the same features and overall user experience on the iPhone 14 as we would on the iPhone 15 Ultra. 
considering that the Samsung S23 Ultra boasts a slightly larger screen size at 6.8 inches compared to the iPhone 14 Pro Max's 6.7 inches. There were expectations that the Phone 15 Ultra would have an even bigger screen. However, there are currently no indications of this happening, which means that the iPhone 15 Ultra will have a screen size that's identical to the 14 Pro Max. The implication, then, that users of both phones will still enjoy an immersive viewing experience when watching videos or browsing the web. The larger display also allows users to run multiple apps side by side, making multitasking more efficient and seamless. Certainly. Where lies the difference, pals? Essentially, while the iPhone 15 Ultra may offer some worthwhile upgrades over the iPhone 14, it's worth considering whether these upgrades are significant enough to justify the cost of upgrading. With the iOS 17 update available on older models and the dynamic island and screen size remaining largely unchanged, the iPhone 14 is still a viable option for those looking for a high-quality smartphone. Ultimately, the decision of whether to upgrade will come down to individual preferences and needs. If you are still interested in the iPhone 15, however, then you can go ahead and check out our next video, which details the significant changes coming to the lineup. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe below.